Well, I think you'll find it's all kosher. Great. By Monday, I'll be half owner of this place. I hate to be picky, but it's 49%. Then. Well, whatever. Still a whole new start for me. Yeah, we'll get your name on the dotted line. Well, we can get Dawn to witness it. Dawn! You don't seem too popular there. Yeah, well, we all have our critics. I know my mum wasn't too pleased about this partnership. I know it's easily done, but how do you manage to upset her? Well, she's never liked me. Reckons I led your sister astray. Yeah, well, you won't hear Donna complaining. It's what she lives for. You're hardly my dad's good books either. But the way I see it, this partnership is nothing to do with anyone but you and me. And I reckon we can make a go of it. Yeah, me too. Welcome aboard, partner. No, we were wondering if you'd put this up for us. Why would I want to do that? It'll be lots of fun. A chance to unearth all the budding poets in the village. Well, you might like to try yourself. I'm sure you've got a couple of sonnets in you. I don't do poetry. <coughs> ah, that's what Marlon said. And look at him now. Yes, I have noticed. He's used up a whole stack of my paper napkins. How's it going, Marlon? It's hard, it's hard. I just can't think of anything that will do her justice. Just write what you feel. Uh, I, I think, um, I think it would look good here. Let me spell it out for you, Alan. I'm running a business and I've no intention of advertising things going on at your B&B, unless, of course, you're planning on paying for the wall space. This is a non-profit making event, Liv. A community project? You are wasting your breath, Shelley. There are some people who just don't appreciate culture. Change your mind? Not exactly, no, but I don't want any more fights. I think we should try and be civilised about this. Well, that's uh, what I've been trying to say. I'm sure we can sort it out if we both work together. I hope so. Right, well, I'll come and help you get your stuff so you can move back in. Slow down a bit. I, I do still need some time away. How much time? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll feel differently when we've both calmed down a bit. I'll be leaving for Spain tonight. OK, uh, me and TJ will be ready for you when you come back. TJ's going to come with me. I thought we were trying to be civilised. I thought we were going to discuss this. Uh, I didn't realise that that meant that everything had to be on your terms. Terry, a baby belongs with his mother. All right, I am trying to be reasonable about this. Well, I don't feel like it. I was going to let you spend the afternoon with him before we went. I can even make arrangements for you to come and visit if you just stop standing in my way. Well, how can I? If you won't tell me how long you're going to be or when you're going to bring him back. Because I don't know. Well, that's not good enough. Whoa, whoa. What's going on? This has got nothing to do with you, Zach. She's trying to take my son away. Her idea being civilised is to give us one afternoon before she takes him off to Spain. That don't sound right, love. Well, it'd be a lot better for him than watching his parents row all the time. I reckon a clean break is just what he needs. Maybe I will take him to Spain and never come back. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. We'll take a trip, a romantic trip. You're disgustingly cheerful this morning. Yeah, I just booked a week in California. Wine tasting trip. You want me to go with you? Ah, uh, not this time, Danny boy. I'm leaving you in charge here. Not too disappointed, I hope. No, not at all. I mean, I'm... Really pleased that you're having a break. You deserve it. Gonna have the time of my life. <laughs> Come fly with me, you little. Wish I was that enthusiastic about fly. wine tasting. I thought you were gonna leave him at Terry's till the flight. Oh, well, I couldn't. He was just being so unreasonable about everything. Are you sure he's the one being unreasonable? I, d I don't know why you keep taking his side. I tell you, Dawn has been a saint putting up with him these last few months. Isn't that what marriage is all about? Give and take. No one is the one doing all the taking, no. Look, I don't want you two fighting because of me. Look, we're not fighting. We're just trying to sort out what's for the best. Well, maybe I could sort my own life out if everyone stopped shouting round me. It's doing my head in and I can't even think straight. Hang on. Where are you going? I need some time on my own. He's had a nap. He won't be any trouble. Now look what you've done. It's hard enough without you turning against her. Oh, open your eyes, Bob. You're the one flashing the credit card, sending her back to Spain. You're making things ten times worse. I mean, she's just using him to get at me. If I do everything that she wants, she might let me see him, if it suits her. And if I don't, well, she's going to take him away forever. What sort of choice is that? I suppose they'll sort out custody in the divorce settlement, if that's where this is heading. I hope not. I don't want to think about it. Whatever happens, she's got to let you see your son. I don't see how, if they're in Spain. 
I mean, I couldn't afford to go there every week, even if she let me. It's so unfair. I mean, at her age, she'll probably get married again. Even have some more kids. But well, TJ's all I've got. I'll never get another chance. I really love that boy. I know. I think it's time that I got some legal advice. Hi, Terry. Little surprise for you. I thought you might enjoy an all-expenses-paid trip to the States mm. with yours truly. You bet I would. Pack your bags, then. I've made all the arrangements. Uh, except uh, one. Uh, I guess you're going to need an excuse for Diane as to why you're leaving the country, but I'm sure someone with your imagination will manage that. No problem. Mm. Right, we'll see you later, then. Hey, I've just fixed up an appointment with the King Brothers for this afternoon. I don't give you much time to coach me. I'm trying to get your bin job back, not train you for the England rugby team. You, but, but Lisa said I needed coaching with my interview technique. I, I, I couldn't answer any of the questions last time. Yeah, I realise that, Sam. That's why I've developed a new strategy. W will that help me answer questions? Eh? No, no, it's, it's more cunning than that. You keep your mouth shut and I'll do all the talking. Those are test results from the clinic. No, I've told you, we won't get those for a week. These are the partnership papers for the garage. Signed, witnessed and legal. Well, I hope you've read the small print. Well, don't you trust your own brother? <laughs> About as far as I could throw him. I suppose you'll be hoping to make a lot of money out of this, then? With my charm and expertise, I'll be rolling in it. Well, I guess that means I can buy that place in Leeds a lot sooner! <laughs> oh. oh, sorry if I'm interrupting. Robert and Scott are officially in business together. Oh, well, I've got so much in common. You can't trust either of them. Well, they'll be making loads of money and we're going to buy a place in Leeds. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I assume we can't all be entrepreneurs, eh? I've got to get to work. Hello, is that Rachel Watmore? Uh, yeah, it's Terry Woods here. That's right, but I'm not ringing about that. I think I need some legal advice about my marriage. Yeah, I appreciate that, but I'll find the money from somewhere. Well, if I sit down. Free country. Now, I hear that you and Terry have split up. Oh, well, doesn't good news travel fast? Well, I just want to have a little chat with you about it. Now, if you've left Terry to be with me... What? I just want you to know that it was just a bit of fun, that's all. Nothing serious. You are the most vain, egocentric, mindless moron I've ever met. Well, you didn't say that when you threw yourself at me. You were just a symptom of my marriage breakup, right? Not the cause. And I'll be happy when I've left you, Terry, and this whole stupid village behind. Now, please leave me alone. I've got a lot of thinking to do. There you go. Thank goodness you're here. The baby might wake up in a minute. I've got the shop and the cafe to look after. We thought you might want to celebrate. Only if you come to tell me you're ditching him. No! Robert and Scott have gone into partnership. Well, that's not good news. That boy's been nothing but trouble to this family. Thanks. Well, will you just give him a break? Well, maybe if he started making himself useful. You can babysit till Dawn gets back. Fine. Give us something to wash these down with, then. Only if you're paying. Well, I thought it'd be our babysitting fee. OK. Cheers. Come on, then, Donna. And no hanky-panky up there. Mum, will you stop embarrassing me? We're grown-ups. We live together now. Doesn't mean to say I want it going on under my roof. <sighs> You're both obviously in a very emotional state, which isn't surprising after all you've been through. Are you sure there's no chance of reconciliation? It's what I want, but I don't think she does. You've told me she's walked out before and changed her mind. Yeah, but she's never threatened to take my son to Spain and not let me see him again. So you think the marriage is over? Permanently? I don't know what to think. I just can't risk losing my son. Children are always the first casualty in divorce. Well, supposing it doesn't get that far. Supposing she just gets lost in Spain and I can't find them. Well, I can put your mind at rest there. She can't take TJ out of the country without your permission. But they're flying out today. 
then I suggest you remind her it's against your wishes. So she'd be committing a criminal offence. Well, what if she still doesn't listen? If you're really worried, you should contact the police. Going, Jarvis. Well, I don't know. I like poetry, but I have an aversion to sincere hippies in sandals. Oh, it won't be like that. <laughs> it'll be fun. And it'll be in a good cause. Uh, we'd appreciate your contribution. Oh, well, how about this then? Jarvis stood in the Woolpike bar, alone and with no cheer, when Alan Turner came along and said he'd buy the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck, that, innit? Red me going to America. He's told you about that. Yeah, and has left me in charge so I can look up whenever we want to be together. Wait. Look, I'm sorry I got you involved in all this mess. But I'm your dad. I'm always here for my little girl. I know, but I know it's caused trouble between you and Viv, and I didn't want that. Oh, don't worry about that. I can always talk Viv round. She'll soon see it's for the best. Terry's here. Tell him I don't want to see him. You can't get rid of me that easy. Watch me. Look, you're just making things worse, Terry. Things can't get much worse. I've been talking to my solicitor. Good. I'll find one too, and then we can get this divorce sorted as soon as possible. Look, I think you should calm down before you make any hasty decisions. Viv's right. There's plenty of time to discuss this when she comes back. If she comes back. And I'm not risking it. According to my solicitor, you can't take him out of the country without my permission. What? It's the law. So you can clear off to Spain if you like, but TJ's going nowhere. Come to borrow a cup of sugar? I most certainly haven't. I'm here to sort out the injustice to my boy. Injustice? Yeah, the interview. Oh, I see. Uh, well, you need to go round to the side door. Are you saying we're only fit for the tradesman's entrance now? No, it's just we like to keep business and pleasure separate. Come on, Dad. Do you really think I'm going to let you bully me into staying? I don't care if you stay or go. It's TJ I'm con concerned about here. Well, where I go, he goes. Yeah, well, you may as well tear up your tickets now, cos he's going nowhere. And that's not bullying. 
That's standing up for my rights as a father. Look, this is all getting out of hand now. Whose fault's that? I said you shouldn't have bought the flights. She's only taking TJ to her mum's for a while. That's not what she said this morning. Look, I just lost my temper, that's all. You will be coming back, though, won't you? OK, and I'll bring TJ with me, that's a promise. Is that enough to satisfy you? How can I trust you after what you said? Well, you're just going to have to, aren't you? Cos we are going to Spain and you can't stop us. I can phone the police. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Make yourself a laughing stock. I will have after. All I'm asking is that you think again. Come on, Dad. Let's get on with the packing. It's not right the way you've treated your dad, Sam. Yeah, look, right, I'm sorry. I was in a bad mood yesterday. He is a sensitive lad. Now, he worked his socks off for Tate Trash. Ali would have done the same for you if you'd give him a chance. Yeah, but we know. But that's not good enough for you. You're short moving, were you? Your new ideas and your business plans, and you don't care that an ordinary working lad can get hurt along the way. Zach, will you just shut up a minute? You are. We were just wondering if you might take yes for an answer. We're giving Sam his job back. Well, I've, uh, I've convinced you, then. <laughs> not really. We discussed it this morning. We reckon we owe you one after the laugh you gave us stringing Scott up. <laughs> I can still see his face. It were a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm back in work. Of course you are. I told you they were decent lads. <laughs> no, you didn't. You, you said that. <laughs> well, if that's all settled, uh, let's get down the pub. I need another alibi. What's it to be this time? Shopping in Hot and a clubbing in Leeds. It's a bit more complicated than that. Rodney's taken us to California for a week and Diane mustn't know. Well, I mean, I guess you could book me a few days in the south of France and I could pretend we're going together. I don't think I could afford that. And I've got another problem. Danny's delighted that Rodney's gone because he thinks it means we'll be able to meet mad passionate love in the antiques barn all week. Well, this has got to stop. It can't. I'm having too good a time. You've got to make a choice. You can't keep having both. I know. So, who's it going to be? Danny or Rodney? She'll never forgive you if you do this. Yeah, I'll never forgive myself if I don't. And I lose him. Look, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go, but maybe it would be better if you put it off for a week or two. I'll have a talk with Terry. I'm sure we could work out a compromise. I've done enough compromise, and I've spent months running round after him. From now on, I'm going to do things my way. Yeah, I found some euros that we had left. You take them, love. You'll have to get a cab at the other end. Oh, thanks. I'll phone Mum when we get to Malaga. She might come and meet us. What if he does phone the police? What are the neighbours going to think? Oh, that's just hot air, that. They've got enough on the plates chasing real criminals, that, worrying about some woman taking a baby on holiday. There you go, boys. Get them down your necks. Hey, much appreciated. Right. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Uh, Zach. Mm. Ta. I need your help. I'm a bit short of reddies right now, Turner. No, no, no. It's not money. It's Dawn. She meant it. She wants to take my son away. Well, we've got to stop her. Yeah, well, I was hoping the police would do that, but I'm not sure that they're going to turn up. Well, they only do that when you don't want them. Anyway, we'll sort someone out. Uh, got to be polite, Sam. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. And welcome to what I hope will be the first of many poetry events here. Yeah. Now, without further ado, I'd like to turn to our first poet, Marlon Dingle. Hey, Marlon. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not ready yet. Well, you got stage fright. <laughs> it's all right. I'll go first. <clears throat> Now, 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 give us some quiet, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I try so hard to lose some weight, but walnut chocolates, those tricks of fate, undermine my good intent. I can't even give them up for Lent. <laughs> <laughs> so I must face a truth so bleak, my will is strong, but my won't is weak. <laughs> <laughs> I still think I'm doing the right thing, don't you, Dad? Oh, I'm more convinced than ever now Terry's being so stupid. Let's go, then. Dawn, look, just leave us alone. Nothing you can say is going to stop us. We're going to the airport. Not on that tyre, you know. 
You did that. No, I couldn't have done. It was with me. Right, just, just ignore him, love. I've got plenty of time to fit the spare. You can't take him out of the country without my permission. That's the law. Just face it, Terry. This is one battle you can't win. Oh, the police turn up soon. Don't worry, I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve. You're right. I've got to make a choice. So which one's it going to be? It's not easy. Danny makes us feel like a teenager again. Oh, and he's got a great body. I've noticed. Mind you, what is in good condition for his age? Exactly. For his age. Which means there's no competition, really. I mean, Danny can keep going for hours. <laughs> can you? Oh, it's a lot of fun trying. I mean, if that was Rodney, I'd be worried about giving him another heart attack. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you've made up your mind. I guess I have. It's got to be Rodney. For the elbow, you mean? No. I reckon I've got more future with him. Sex isn't everything. Rodney has other fine qualities. Like what? He's suave, sophisticated, experienced, debonair. And that beats great sex. No, but he's also a millionaire. That was always going to swing it. Terry is supposed to be your mate. You shouldn't be doing this, Bob. She's my daughter, Zach. She comes first. I can't let you go. Terry, if you don't shift, I might just drive over you. That'll be a big mistake. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at last, our own Marlon Dingle. Oop. <laughs> Come on, Marlon. <laughs> to Tricia, my one true love. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there'll just be a short intermission. They wouldn't have got it. They, just, they wouldn't have got it. Well, they missed an excellent poem. I wasn't writing for them. I was writing for Trisha. I just I wanted to keep her memory alive. I ache to hold you in my arms again. That seems to do it rather well. They're just words. She probably would have thought it was soppy anyway. She'd have liked Shelley's better. She's always laughing. Having fun. It's ridiculous. I'm just taking my son on holiday and my husband started getting hysterical about it. Well, this does seem to be a bit of a storm in a teacup, sir, if it's just a holiday. It's not. She said she'd never bring him back. I've got a witness. Oh, yeah, I was there. I heard her say it. Was that true, madam? No, I, I was just angry. I lost my temper. You can't stop her going because of a stupid row. Mrs Woods is free to travel where she wants, sir, but I think in the circumstances, we must insist that the child stays in the country until all this is sorted out. Thank you. I'm just trying to uphold the law and keep the peace, sir, if you'll take my advice. You and your wife should sit down quietly and try and sort this out amicably now. I'm willing to talk if you are. I've just got one thing to say to you, Terry. If you want to fight, you've got one. And I'm going to make sure you never get your hands on TJ. We'll see about that. <laughs> 